Bonfire Print on Demand Tutorial. Hello and welcome to our channel WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Bonfire Print on Demand. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So firstly, the first thing that you need to do is to open your browser and kindly go to bonfire.com. And if you haven't signed up for Bonfire yet, you can check the video description below for a special discount link. But before that, if you don't know Bonfire, it is a platform that allows users to design and sell custom merchandise online, primarily focusing on a custom apparel like t-shirts, hoodies, and other clothing items. And aside from that, it also provides a user-friendly interface where individuals, organizations, or businesses can create and sell their own branded merchandise without needing to invest in inventory or production costs upfront. And now, to access this platform, you can proceed by clicking the Get Started button in order to create your account, in which upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page. And from here, you can select how would you like to start. But in those options, I'm going to choose Sell Online. So kind of click on it. And after that, from here, you also need to select either to start a campaign or to create a store. And I'm going to choose to create a store and just click the Continue button to proceed. And after that, from here, you can now start creating your account by filling out all of this required information or you can sign in using your Google account or Facebook account. And after that, from here, it will ask you a question, what are you using Bonfire for? And you can select either for personal use, for business or organization, or even as a content creator. But I'm going to choose for business or an organization. And below, you can simply enter the organization name. And after that, just click the continue button to proceed. Then you will be directed on the dashboard of Bonfire. In which from here, you will see on the left side panel some of the options that you can start navigating such as overview, campaigns, my store, my orders, and many more. And now to start creating your own store, just click this button, create my store button right here. In which upon clicking on it, the next thing that you need to do is to enter the name of your store. Then just proceed by clicking the continue button. And now from here, you can start customizing everything starting from uploading a logo, adding a short headline, and on the left side panel, you can even enter the description about your store. And also you can add your social link or even your URL. And from here, you can add heading, add text, and many more. And after customizing this part, we can now move on to creating a campaign. And by clicking create a campaign button, you will be directed on this page. And from here, you can now start creating your design. And the first step that you need to do is to pick your products. And below here, it will show you the available products that you can choose, such as premium unisex tees, pullover hoodie, and many more. And from here, it will show you a variety of products that you can choose, such as shirts, long sleeve, short sleeve, tank tops, sweatshirt, and many more. But I'm just going to stick with this one, which is this premium unisex tee. And after choosing a product, the next thing that we need to do is to add a design. And you can choose either to add a text to your shirt. So for instance, on the front of our shirt, I'm just going to enter here the text Drifty. And below that, you could also customize the font a bit with a variety of fonts that you can choose. You can start creating a design for your shirt. And aside from font style, you could also customize the color of this text. By simply clicking this color option, from here, it will show you a variety of color that you can choose. And you could also make it bold or italic. And aside from that, from here, you can even customize the arrangement of the text to input it backward, to back, forward, or to front. And also, if you want to design the back of this t-shirt, you can do so by simply clicking the show back button right here. And you can now start designing using the text or the graphics. Now moving on to the graphics, since aside from text that you can add to your shirt as a design, from these graphics, you could even choose a specific graphics type depending on your preferences, in which it offers for free on this platform. So for instance, I'm going to search on the search bar of it, 3, and below here it will show you all of the available 3 design or graphics. Or let's say I'm going to choose or enter here, Lion, and below here it will show you all of the graphics design that you can add or use as a design to your shirt. And after selecting a specific design, you can even change the color of it 
and also customize other details. So let's say I'm going to choose this color black. And after choosing a color, you can even rotate this graphic to your shirt by adjusting this rotate option right here. And you can even customize or arrange this graphic design. And aside from that, if you want to design the back of this shirt, kind of click this button. And from here, you can now start adding a graphics of your preferences. So for instance, I'm going to select this one. And after that, I'm just going to resize this into a smaller sticker at the back of this shirt. And after that below, you could also customize the color of it, lift it, and even rotate this graphics. And aside from that, you could also upload your own art from your computer files that you want to add as a design to your products by simply clicking this upload art button right here. But make sure to follow the guidelines in uploading an art. And now to proceed, kindly click the next button on the top right corner. And upon doing so, we will be directed under the second step, which is the profits, in which this section will show you your estimated profits based on the estimated sales that you input. And also below here, it will show you how would you like your orders to be sent out. And you can choose either in batches or on demand. And by choosing on demand, it will ship fast, but you will get a lower profit. Since it says here that with on-demand, you'll earn less per item sold. But the orders will be processed each business day. And the pros of it is that it is faster processing and also it is best for always on stores. So I'm just going to choose in batches to increase my profit with bulk discounts. And also below here, you could also estimate your payout by simply estimating the total sold. So for instance, we're going to change this that the total sold will be 25 only. So the estimated payout that you will get is 192 to 246 US dollar. And below here, you could also customize your selling prices and you can even change the selling price. But make sure that in changing the selling price, it must be higher than the base cost so that you will get or earn a profit. And if you're now done customizing the profit section, just proceed by clicking the next button on the top panel. And now under the settings section, below here just click make money since you are selling for profit. And aside from that, below here it will show you the details including the set for first batch length in which at the end of each campaign batch, the products will be custom made for your buyers. And the default days that contain here is 15 days. And aside from that, below it will show you the specific date or orders estimated to arrive and first batch will end. And after that, below here, it will show you some of the category that describe your campaign. Then below, you can even select additional tags by selecting any of these tags. And as you can see here, under the shipping options, it has a default of standard which is ship directly to buyers. And now to proceed, just click the next button on the top right corner. Now under this edit and preview, all you need to do is to fill out all of the required information, including or starting from the title of it, the description of this product and many more and just click the save button or launch button to proceed and after that if you go back to this dashboard a bonfire it will show you that you have now launched your first campaign so that is just how you can use bonfire print on demand thank you